Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make an envelope clutch using some African fabric as accents. So I've got a few items here. I've got my sewing machine. I've got um, some poppers, which you're going to use for your fastening. I've got scissors. I've got tape measure. I've got some plastic and the plastic I'm using is just an ordinary piece of plastic. You can use some kind of leatherette material, but the reason I'm using that is because it gives strength to the purse. Um, the two pieces of material that I've got here are not really designed for anything like a purse. It, this is just a tutorial and that's why I'm just using these two pieces of fabric, as you can see there. The two contrasting pieces, I've got black and then I've got one that's um, an African um, print sort of, I guess, I guess it's an African print uh, type of, uh, of fabric there. Okay, and then of course also got a piece of paper and that piece of paper is just to use as um, my template. So as you'll see here, I'm folding over the piece of paper and I'm folding it into um, the center. So I'm folding all four sides into the center so they all meet in the center into the exact shape of another square and into the shape of an envelope. Then I'm going to pin my piece of paper onto plastic. It's just easier to pin it so that it's, um, it's easy to work with the plastic and the paper together so they're not all slipping around. Then you're going to cut all the way around um, the plastic and the paper together and then after you've done that, you then take both the plastic and the paper and pin those onto a piece of black fabric, as I've done here, um, and then cut all the way around so that you've got an exact square for all three pieces that you've got there. And then just fold it all together into the center, all four corners, so that you, they all meet in the center, as you can see there. Then you take your contrasting piece of fabric, you create four strips, and I'm using a piece of tailor's chalk, but you can use any sort of fabric pen or anything really just to mark it out. But probably a good idea is um, you take your first strip of um, fabric and then uh, use that as your template to cut out the all four other pieces of fabric. So they're all the same length and width. Then uh, going over to your sewing machine, to your sewing machine, to your ironing board, you're going to fold over one edge of the fabric and you fold that towards the center. Normally what's a good idea is when you're dealing with raw edges is to make sure that um, you um, finish off the raw edge um, as you can see there. But in this instance, because it's not a project that I'm going to give away, it doesn't really matter. So anyway, um, just fold both um, edges into the center and then iron it flat so that you've got something that looks like that. Then you take your main. Oh, by the way, at this point, you've gotten rid of your white, um, uh, your square piece of paper or card. So you slip one edge of your square into the um, into the contrasting piece of fabric that you've got there. So that the raw edge is on the inside and the outside you can see is folded down. Then you sew away. So you sew all four edges, um, You do doing the exact same technique that I showed you. And um, once you finished all four edges, just clip any sort of unsightly um, edges as well. And then um, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. And so all four sides have got some kind of um, some of the contrasting uh, fabric on the edge. Then um, turn your um, project inside out or turn it over so that the plastic edge is on is facing away from you and then fold the plastic edge into the center again, as you can see, so that it's forming another envelope um, just to make sure that all four edges are meeting in the center um, before you continue further. If, if that doesn't happen, then you probably need to start again. Then um, fold the uh, the project in half and then sew one half. OK, as you can see here, I'm, I'm sewing along the one edge. Then after you've done that, you take the other edge, as you can see, and bring that towards the two edges that you've just sewn together and just pinch it together, as you can see I've done here. And then you're going to sew that as well. Then turn that inside out after you've done that. So you're only sewing two edges together. OK, and then you turn that inside out, as you can see there in the background, I've got it all done and finished. Um, I've got poppers and I'm using those poppers as my closure, as I mentioned earlier. And I'm going to um, hand stitch this because it's a lot easier just to hand stitch um, with the poppers than um, with the sewing machine. I'm not even sure if you can use the sewing machine to to um, to do this. Um, I'm not sure if the same button feature would be the, the one that you would use. Um, but anyway, do it by hand and it's just a lot easier. And there you go, you've got your clutch. Um, and 
you know the inside of it allows you just to wipe it down in case you get any spillages or any sort of mess inside the purse so it's um, just a really nice easy project to do I like to do easy projects so I try not to make things too hard um, when I do tutorials particularly if you don't know how to use a sewing machine so you know um, and then there you have it so I can fold the purse in half and as I've done here so you can see um, it's really you know it's a nice thing to just have the option of either having the the purse um, as a full envelope clutch or just um, be able to fold it in half okay thanks very much for watching if you have any questions then please do not hesitate to ask thanks bye